Today in this video, I'm going to show you like how you can use OBS for record two video. In my case, if you see one screen, it's coming from the camera directly, and another screen, it's my whole this screen that you can now see or that we can watch now the whole this screen. So how we can make this type of thing and how we can do edit and what we basically need for record to screen and what is the benefit basically. I will explain you everything in this video. So before that, I'm in the main video, if you new here, please click on the like button and please click on the subscribe button, also the bell icon, then when I upload a new video, you will get a notification. Let's talk about the benefit of what you exactly get if you do the same thing. If you shoot your video in indoor or a recording on screen, then it will be more, more, more helpful for you. That means you just save your time. You don't have to take your file from your camera. You don't have to take your audio from your laptop or computer. Then you don't have to merge everything. Because the OBS, it's merge everything. And when it is going to edit it, then you can put it down, whatever you need. And uh, if you're having it like this type of studio, then you don't have to take your camera, you don't have to change your lighting, you don't have to do anything. Now I know you have an, you have a question in your mind that what we basically need for a start. Trust me, you don't need anything if you have a camera like Canon camera. You just have to buy two things. One is like video capture card and another is like cable. I will give you another video in my video description. You have to watch this, what you basically need. Because last day I was making another video about that. Now let's move on to OBS setting. Because without setting, you cannot do like this. We just have to do a little bit setting. So first we have to go OBS software. And now as you can see, I'm just recording. So it's okay. Let's go to the setting. And we have to go the output. And in output, we can set up here the recording part. But in video, yep, uh, yeah, the video, we have to change the base, the resolution. If you see carefully now, I think I cannot, um, okay, I, I think I now I cannot uh, recording because now my video is recording, so I cannot. So if you see carefully here, the base canvas, you have to just change this. You have to make it three. Uh, 3840 into 1080 and then again the output it will be the same so it's basically uh, for your screen how much screen you have uh, if you have multiple screen like more then you have to calculate it if you want to use three screen if you have uh, two monitor one camera you have to just into three that's it now let's talk about the video placement. A video placement is like, if you see here, I just put the two screen together. How? It's very simple. Uh, if you see here, I create two, 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 two scenes, but you don't really, you don't really uh, two scenes. Like when you just change the resolution, then you will get a bigger screen like this. And then you have to just put here what you need for example in my case i was put a video a display capture and that you can see here i also put a video capture device that's why i put it i just get it here another is like my audio uh, put it the display section in, in right section or left section or whatever you want and in the video video capture you have to put another side that's it now as you can see when i put this we get like this and it's together so that's it it's nothing something hard something i hope if you try then you will get it and if you cannot or if you get any kind of error then please let me know in a comment section i will make different video for you uh if you get any other problem now let's come in a video editing section like how you can edit this thing uh, and da vinci or premiere pro it's very simple i'm just going to show you first of all if you create a project let's create a project and now we have to import the media file so where is the media file i think this is the media file previously i was recorded and now as you can see it's showing here do you want to change the frame rate no 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 i just missed i just do mistake i just change it it's okay no problem i can i can change here okay so here is the resolution size it's okay so let's drag and drop here the video let's go to the edit section and I get something like, let's go back again and let's check it out. Okay, so this is the timeline resolution. Yeah, this is perfect now. And now we get something like this. 
So don't worry, it's not something hard. I'm just showing you how to do. So first we are uh, okay. So first, 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 I have to copy it, and I have to paste it. So as you can see, we get two things here. But first of all, let me reduce the volume. So in first, I'm just going to put it down in my, or uh, in first we can put it down here the screen. So what we have to do, just crop, right? Just crop, nothing, just crop. So let's, I click on here and just, okay. So we can do, we can uh, unlink this audio with the video. Now you can select the video only and let's crop the left like this, the left. And I think this is gonna be okay. I think now it's okay and uh, now we have to increase okay so increase the zoom okay i just increase the zoom and let's change the position into like this i hope now you understand what you have to do and next okay 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 oh, okay 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 i think i just zoom I just do bear okay. I think two it's okay. Two it's okay. Two. Alright, two it's okay. And everything is okay now. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Everything is okay now. And let's drag and drop here the uh, last one. So in here we have to just remove the audio. Control X, then it will be remove. Don't press delete. <laughs> alright, so now we get uh, another one. And in here we'll take in my my fast right. Let's scroll from right, and let's uh, make it a zoom in two. Oh man, I just need two, and we have to change the position. That's it. If you remember the last, uh, you know the number then you have to copy paste if you remember the last number uh, it's 71 right 71 right okay so now we are getting uh, something like and if you want to do crop or if you want to do something other then you can do now easily you can do easily now let me show you like how you can make a circle marks in your face so it's really simple so first of all select the layer and let's go to here the this section i don't know it's null but normally we have to do color grading on the section so let's come in here and we have to click on mouse right button and click on here alpha output normally you will see something like add alpha output just click on that then you have to add into this and also you have to add into this okay and then you have to click on here this here this circle and then you don't have to do nothing on that that's it you don't have to do nothing then you can do resize on that and you can put any hair so i'm not going to put any hair let's go to the this section go back and in here now we can change the position how much you want so in my case i want like this and let's change the position into this and let's put it down in here all right and like this okay and if you wanna use any lots or loots, I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's okay. Let's lots oh. add on and then we get the changes, man. Uh, but uh, now in here, <laughs> I don't really need lots. So let's control set. So now let me tell you like how you can do edit in other software. If you're using Premiere Pro or Camtasia or Filmora like this software, First of all, you have to import the video on that in timeline and then you have to just drag and drop. And then you have to crop the video and then you just like this, add, you have to do the same thing that I do and now you can do edit, okay? If you really like this video, please click on the like button and if you're new here on my channel, so please do subscribe and also click on a bell icon. Then when I upload a new video, you'll get a notification. Thank you so much.